Greetings, what up, boys? Shout out to the Lost Boys. Y'all stay intact, all right? Peace, right here in the building. Read BBS. BBS. Takuma Inoue had one job, one mission. Just be the litmus test. Be the crash test dummy for the biggest fight in the history of Japanese boxing. He will have to fight my brother before he moves up. He will have to fight my brother before he moves up. So this was laid down. The gauntlet was thrown down by my dude, my bruh, my Tomodachi, now Oya anyway. He threw down the gauntlet. And then Sunday, October 13th came, and Lil Bro, Lil Bro, Takuma anyway, he picked up the gauntlet, and then he choked away the gauntlet and the biggest opportunity of his life, his boxing life, along with his WBA bantamweight title in the process, losing unanimously to Seiya Tsutsumi, who troubled Inouye via work rate, his activity level, and unceasing, and I mean unceasing aggression, even registering a 10th round knockdown as the ropes prevented Takuma from falling to the canvas. So after all that, two days, seven world title fights, Headlined by Junto Nakatani on Monday, Takuma Inoue that Sunday. This was supposed to culminate in a Nakatani versus Takuma Inoue unification. Then a Nakatani Naoya Inoue mega fight between two top 10 pound for pounders. And Takuma fucked it all up. So now I have to ask, like Axel Rose and Guns N' Roses, uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go now? Where do we go? We know we got the fight over there. Nakatani Inoue, pioneers of the new wave of Japanese boxing. Two prize protégés of the Japan Boxing Association, now called the JCL, which is heavily credited with the current explosion of Japanese talent before us. Nakatani, he handles his business. He always handles his business. Junto Nakatani handles his business. He fought Thailand's Tasana Salapat, professionally known as Petch Sword Chit Patana. Also fought as Petch CP Fresh Mart. I'll call him all of them names within the confines of this video. My man brought a 76 and 1, 53 KOs record to the ring, but that one came to. Takuma Inoue. So as I told you in the pre-fight video, this was a foregone conclusion, and it was. Uh, I also did a live stream. I partook, partaken, partook in, in a live stream. And thank you to those of you who tuned in early Monday morning for your boy. It was uh, about 6, 6 a.m. in the States. And as soon as I bitched about the uh, fight not ending early enough, Nakatani ended Petch, Sword, Chit, Patana, Slash, CP, Fresh Mart in the very next round. The very next round. He was throwing ominous counter left crosses in each of the first two rounds. Nakatani was over the top of CP's lunges. Nakatani's southpaw jab was on point. Hard, accurate jabs, making CP's hair and head jolt back. He was hooking off the southpaw jab. Now, CP Freshmart, he came in confident. My man stepped over the top rope. Can't say I've ever seen a non-heavyweight enter the ring that way. My man stepped his little ass over the top rope. Surprised he didn't get his testicles in the mix, but he didn't. Had never been stopped and only dropped twice in 70-plus fights prior to Nakatani. The Japanese crowds, they're, they're different. They're different. It was so quiet in Ariaki Arena during the fight, you could hear the fighters' footsteps in the ring at times. They was observing and probing each other the first couple of rounds. Patient start. Nakatani isn't this wild, whirling dervish. He's not this uh, this KO machine like a like Naoya Inoue is. He's more patient about his shit. But yeah, the hard southpaw one-twos. And Nakatani ain't just touching you with the jab. 
He's ramming that shit in your grill and coming with a fight ending to the left cross. He has a right shovel hook, as I've heard it called recently, or a hooker cut, as I call it, upper the hook, if you will. The shot that's not quite an uppercut, and it's not quite a hook. It's a little bit of both, yet it's neither. Well, Nakatani has a very nice one of those. He's got every punch in his arsenal, truth be told. And on a long-ass frame that can carry weight. He's skillful, athletic, power in both hands, and he's ambitious. Chit Patana, he had pockets of success to the body. Uh, and in some 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 punching exchanges, he didn't win around this night, but it was his best moments of the fight. And then, of course, round six, short-lived success for Chit Patana. He was knocked down twice in the sixth round, forcing my homie referee Lawrence Cole to halt the action. Overhand lefts did the trick for Nakatani, depositing CP on the canvas both times. Left hand to the jaw. Uh, that was a, a Southie one-two on the first knockdown. And then Nakatani took his time, figured him out. And once he figured out Chit Batana, he banged him out. Now, with all that said, where do we go? Now, Oya Inoue is slated to face Sam Goodman on Christmas Eve. In fact, they have until later this month, I believe the 29th, to negotiate that fight or it goes to purse bids. And the dumbest move in the world... The dumbest move in the world would be to allow a unique talent, an elite, unique talent like Naoya Inoue to fight for who knows who via purse bid. So between the Japanese promoters and top rank, I fully expect them to iron out the details before the Sam Goodman fight goes to purse bids. From there, spring 2025, an Inoue Nakatani doubleheader in America, that was planned. Although they was hoping it'd be Takuma versus Nakatani with Naoya facing probably MJ Akhmedaliev for the uh, the other mandatory challenger at Bantam, at uh, Super Bantamweight, Junior Featherweight. But yeah, then after that, let's go to uh, Naoya Inoue, Junto Nakatani, Tokyo Dome. Yes, it's that big. Tokyo Dome, Japan, summer, fall 2025. It's still quite a plan leading to the epic fight for Takuma. I got Takuma, though. Like, I, I, have to, I have to keep harping on that. You know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? You had your chance to separate yourself to a degree from Big Bro, but now it's back to carrying Big Bro's belts for him, I guess. Mind you, it was always going to be an uphill battle for Takuma, a losing battle for Takuma, him versus Nakatani. That fight is like bringing a butcher knife to a gunfight. And Nakatani is the gun. Let's just put it that way. 29 wins, 22 KOs for Nakatani. 20 wins, 5 KOs for Tacoma. Yeah. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. So let's do it. My dude, my bruh, my Tomodachi, Naoya Inoue, and Junto Nakatani. I'm here for all of it. Read BBS, BBS, Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.